Hey, it's Keith Smith from PilotEdge.net. We're doing an IFR flight today in the CRJ200 from Lindbergh over to LA using real weather. Looks like it's about 800 overcast here at Lindbergh and about 1500 overcast at LA, so we'll have a little bit of weather en route. This is the Javier roll on CRJ200 with uh, X Plane 10. First, uh, first thing we'll do is get connected to Pilot Edge for our online ATC and traffic. This will be SkyWest 4503. That's done. And second thing we'll do is file a IFR flight plan. CRJ 200 from Limburg to LA, Pebble 4 departure, seal beach transition direct is what we're going to file for uh, 10k. This is the pretty much the preferred routing from Limburg to LA with true airspeed. I'm actually going to step this up a little bit to 370. And we'll go ahead and file that. Otherwise, we'll jump on, get the door closed up, and get started. I'm not a real CRJ pilot, nor, nor do I have any CRJ checklists in front of me, so kind of winging it here. So if you see any big inconsistencies, try not to panic too much. We'll get too upset. Okay, so master on. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about the lighting, but uh, put some on here anyway. And we'll get the APU started right away. Get the door open. And fire it up. And we'll see the door opening right there. And the EGC is coming up. While that's happening, we can get the INS, sorry, IRS has started up and do the position initialization on the FMS. In fact, the APU is ready, so we'll fire up the APU generator. There we go, we're getting our displays. Okay, we're at Lindbergh. And the RS line is now taking place. We're heading to, let's see, it'll be SkyWest 4503. And we're heading to LAX. Via runway 27 will be the Pebble 4 departure to Seal Beach. And no arrival over there. It'll just be direct after that. Head over to the performance initialization. It is 17 degrees outside. So we'll set the takeoff thrust limit as recommended there, 89.9. Actually going to set a target of about 68 for cruise, but we'll set the takeoff to 89.9. And we're all set. Let's get our hydraulics squared away. Get the 3A going, probes on. I'll leave the packs off for now and go ahead and call for clearance over on the COM2 radio 25.9 is clearance delivery and 23.9 is ground so I'll transmit on 2 and we'll give clearance call engage the ore dampers while we're here and let's go ahead and call Number three, Bravo, Romeo, descend and maintain 4000. That's one of the controls on Pilot Edge. It's my good friend Eugene, in fact. And he's working multiple frequencies, so you will not hear the other pilots unless they're on the same frequency as us. So let's go ahead and call for the clearance. Limbo clearance, good evening, SkyWest 4503 with the numbers IFR to LA. 
Service 4503 Limerick Delivery Greening include to Los Angeles Airport, Pebble 3 Departure, Seal Beach Transition, Direct. Maintain 10000, Departure Frequency 119.6, Squawk 7020. Okay, uh, actually request the Pebble 4, that is now uh, current for Skywest 4503. Skywest 4503, Action Pebble 4 Departure, Rest Unchanged. Okay, Pebble 4 departure, Seal Beach, transition, direct, maintain 10, departure 196, squawk 7020, Skywest 4503. Skywest 4503, expect runway 27. Skywest 4503. That was a pretty recent change that the Pebble 4 came out. Alright, so we'll have our beacon on, in case anyone's around, and we'll get the nav equipment set up before engine start. Still waiting for the IRS to align anyway. Okay, let's get this into FMS mode. Number 3 Bravo Romeo on 2 miles okay. from Becca, turn right heading 270, maintain 1600 until established on the localizer. Clear ILS, runway 30 approach. Check out legs here. Yep, that's correct. And let's set the altimeter, sorry, the altitude and altimeter. The altimeter is 3011. Go ahead and set altitude to 10,000. That's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, 10,000 set. We'll worry about the speed once we get there. Okay, flight director, we can do nav and speed mode. Plan for 160 on the speed in the climb. Trying to move fairly quickly here, if you can't tell. Alright, let's check out a calm situation. We're on delivery, there's ground on the standby, and for calm one we got uh, 18.3 for the tower, that's good. And we'll get departure is 19.6. on the standby. So comms roll set. Transponder needs to be set to 7020. It's a bit of a fine art there. Alright, transponder to normal. And we're ready for engine start. Fuel pumps on. Open up the APU valve. Open up the isolation valve. And ignition. And let's start to. Looking for 19 and 2. There it is. Just looking at the temps, making sure we don't get a hot start. And the temps peaked at 494 and are coming down, so it's a good start on 2. Let's start 1. Romeo, contact Long Beach Tower 119.4. Introduce fuel. Okay, good start on one. And one's coming up. Okay, 
Let's get the generator going. Let's get our remaining hydraulics on. Number seven six three Bravo Romeo, the Stanley, with Carmen, with three zero good to land. Packs on. Kill the isolation valve. Take out the APU. Kill the pumps. They have lights. Kill the ignition. And we should be set. Door is closed. The Anunciata panel is clear. Let's set takeoff trim. 7.8 Field elevation at destination is around 120 Close enough for jazz And we'll swap to ground and call for taxi We're on the southwest corner of the field Let's verify that There's Lindbergh on the southwest corner there. Okay, over to COM2. Swap to ground and we'll give them a buzz. Limbo ground, Sky West 4503 with the numbers main terminal taxi IFR. Sky West 4503, Limbo ground, runway 27, taxi via Bravo, Bravo 1. Runway 27 via Bravo and Bravo 1, Skyrim 4503. Okay, let's get the parking brake released. One day I'll make a view for this. A can view. Okay, parking brake's released. And off we go. From Bravo, we'll just review the SID real quick. Get flaps five in the meantime, so we're ready. There's the runway in the distance. Bravo is parallel to that. Here we go, we just joined Bravo now. Number three, Bravo, I'm here on the northeast side. Look at the Pebble 3, sorry, Pebble 4 departure chart. It's heading 290 and wheels up. Crossing the ocean side 170 radial, a right turn to 315, join the mission bay 293 radial outbound. To Meldy, direct Pebble, direct Seal Beach. been flying this with both uh, VORs and the FMS. The FMS had some problems. I uh, found a small bug potentially in the NAV database or the FMC most likely in its interpretation of that data so I've updated the data to account for that bug so now the FMC should fly it properly. There's basically a discrepancy versus magnetic versus true headings it was interpreting the radials as true instead of magnetic. So while we wait for a response from the developer on that one, I've just updated the NAV database to add 15 to those radials. Fascinating stuff, right? Alright, here we are coming up on runway 27. In the distance is the famous hill blocks the runway 27 final approach course here at Lindbergh. And we'll stop right here. Let's do lights camera action. Okay, the lights are all sorted. And we shall contact tower. So we'll go over to COM1. And we are on tower. Lingo Tower, Skyrise 4503 is ready to go on my 27. Skyrise 
That was 4503 Leonard Tau, wind uh, calm runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 27, sky 4503. Quick look. Final appears to be clear. I have not set any of the V speeds because I just don't really know what they are for the CRJ and I'm way too tired to find out. We're just kind of winging it a little bit. green, everything's good. Just go to max power and then let the thrust limiter worry about it. It'll back it off to 89.9 .9 for us. The speed's alive and here comes 80 knots. heavy by the way. I set it to nearly max gross. My first time flying it heavy. And positive rate gear up. And we're going to pitch for about 160 in the climb. And we'll stable. Engage the autopilot here. And pass them through 400 feet. It puts us into a turn to 290. I'm going to ease off the stick. Sky was 4503. Contact circle departure. We'll contact departure. Sky was 4503. Okay, and the speed climb is going nicely there. Over to departure. 19.6. Eyes out front. So Cal departure, Skyways 4503, 1600, climbing 10,000. Skyways 4503, so called departure, radar contact. Climbs up. Skyways 4503. Flaps. And we'll increase some speed. Let's go to about 210. And we'll go ahead and set climb power now on the thrust limiter. Go to performance, thrust limit, climb. Let's see what we get out of this bucket of bolts. Very nice. Okay, we're on the 290 heading, looking to cross that Oceanside 170 radial, after which it'll be a right to the 315, join Mission Bay 293, which is right there, so all is looking very good there. We can go ahead and transition to a cruise climb here. I want to enjoy the view of breaking out. That speed up to 250. Just kind of doing that visually, hoping it's about right. Yep, not bad, 251. Look at that. Gotta love X Plane 10. Breaking through the tops at about five and a half there. It looks like it's a little bit more clear to the north there. X Plane 10 has multiple weather systems, so it can be more cloudy in one area than other areas, which is awesome. drone activity out there, or someone else flying around out there. Pilot Edge has a good number of military drones around the Miramar uh, area, so chances are that's what they are. Okay, 
uneventful so far. And here we are coming up on the intercept. That takeoff was definitely very different, carrying 12,000 pounds of stuff instead of being virtually empty, which is what it defaults to. Okay. Coming up on a thousand to go. There it is. You can expect it to transition from climb to altitude hold, and the speed trend should go up by quite a bit. We've just passed the radial here. Now heading on to the 315 heading to join the radial. And waiting for it to leave climb mode. There it is, altitude capture. It'll shoot for 10k. Here comes the speed. And we're going to shoot for, uh, I think we said a true airspeed of 370. So how I'm going to handle this is, as the speed winds up here, which it'll increasingly do as the angle of the tank reduces, keep an eye on the speed and just manually pull the power back to a setting where it's happy, and then engage the um, FMS thrust limiter at that point to hold it. feet, let's kill the landing lights. And here comes our speed. There's some traffic right there. A couple of them in fact. And there's 370. So I'm backing off the throttle by hand and watching the speed trend. That looks pretty good actually, and it looks like to about 71.2 on the thrust limit. So we'll dial that 71.2 done. And we can just bang the throttle all the way forward. And we've done the intercept at the Mission Bay 293 radial, so now we're heading to Meldy, then Pebble get a view of those jets that came by. I think I saw some. Hmm. No, I don't see them. Oh, there we go. Just behind the clouds, I guess. Temperatures out here. nice, I have to say. It's one dirty window, mind you. Okay, after Pebble, be heading to Seal Beach. Preparing for most likely the ILS 25 left over there. Let's set up the radios for that now. The NAV radio is going to be 109.9er. Scout 45 or 3 contact circle approach 127.2 27.2 Scout 45 or 3 
so Cal Practice Sky is 4503, level 10,000. Sky is 4503, so Cal Practice Sky is 4503. Sky is 4503. Just pull the barrow. What a big difference that made. And we'll just double check that speed. How are we looking? 366, true. Not too bad. For 320 indicated. 32 miles to Seal Beach. Approach Sky 4503, like to go off frequency for a minute to get the Otis. Sky 4503, go ahead. Thanks. Receiving that. I'll double check that frequency. Yeah, 133.8. Hmm. Okay, we'll tell them we're not getting it yet. Oh, there's some nice clouds and traffic in the distance. A couple of them. Fast moving. Thousand expect ILS runway two five left approach. Sky is forty five oh three. We're just back on frequency now. Unable to get the edits. I'm guessing that was for us. The Seal Beach uh, instruction. Sky is forty five zero. Sorry about that. Affirmative. Uh, Seal Beach at now maintains seven thousand. Expect ILS runway two five left. Los Angeles reporting wind two five zero at six. Ceiling one thousand four hundred. Overcast altimeter three zero one one. Okay, Seal Beach out and maintain 7, thanks for the weather, Skywest 4503. Alright, so the altimeter is back to 3011. Not that it matters a great deal to change it one tenth, one hundredth of an inch, but I want to be diligent. And let's see, Seal Beach is coming up in two minutes. We have got too slow, like now. Okay, so let's set the altitude to 7000. We're going to get it down to 250 knots anyway. Seven thousand feet. You know, I will try this. I wouldn't mind trying the speed mode for the descent. Let's see how that goes. Right there, so engage speed mode. Sky West 4503, contact circle approach 124.9er. 24.9er, Sky West 4503. 24.9er, here we go. So it's going to hold speed, do whatever it needs to do to do that. In this case, it's doing a 2,500 foot per minute descent. 24.9, and we can pre dial the tower 120.905. And pre dial that. So Cal Perch, Sky is 45 3, 8700 for Seal Beach at 7 with the numbers. That was 4503, Circle Approach, Depart Seal Beach heading 330, vector to ILS, runway 25 left, final approach course. After passing Seal Beach, descent and maintain 5000. Okay, Depart Seal Beach heading 330, cross Seal Beach at 7, then down to 5, Sky is 45 3. Okay, let's get the landing light back on since we're under 10k here. Okay, this goes back to altitude capture. Makes sense. I'm just doing the power by hand here. Watching my speed trend. As we get to 7,000. So after 7, we're 
looking at cross sealage at 7 then down to 5 and a heading of 330 which is basically present heading. At that point we'll take it out of FMS mode and make it NAV1 to join the localizer. Approach course is 251. See this is what the FMS wants to do and it'll probably lead the turn at Seal Beach so we're not going to do that. We'll make sure we engage heading mode the minute it's ready to resequence us or start sequencing us. Okay, we do have the altitude capture of 5, so let's pre-dial, sorry, altitude hold of 7, let's pre-dial 5. Ready. 3.5 miles to go to Seal Beach. Traffic up there. ready to go with heading mode. As soon as we see this change from Seal Beach to LAX, we're going to fight it and tell it not to do that. There it goes. So we swap to heading mode. That's done. And we can engage vertical speed mode. Let's come down at about 1500 feet a minute and pull some power. That ought to work. Okay, last part of the plan. Change the nav source to nav 1. Double check that ILS plate. And we don't have it open. Awesome. Just scrambling in another window here. Get that open. There we go. We have it. The final approach course is 251, so we got lucky there. Thousand to go. This is receiving LAX. Not a bad day for flying here. 18 miles to go. Let's see. I'll probably have us intercept around Honda. That's at 12.8. And that'll be down at 3600-ish. Okay, it's going to hold at 5. Speed trend is dropping. We're still quite a ways out. Let's keep the speed for now. Just staring at that speed trend right there. Skywest 4503, descend and maintain 3700. Down to 3.7, Skywest 4503. Vertical speed. to go. Skywest 4503, three miles from Honda, turn left heading 280, maintain 3700 until established on the localizer, clear ILS runway 25 left approach. Heading 283.7 until established, cleared ILS 25 left, Skywest 4803. That's a pretty view. Okay, 280. Here comes localizer, go nav mode. Fourteen miles out. Skywest forty five zero three, contact Los Angeles Tower, one two zero point ninety five. 
2095, Sky's 4503. Okay, I'll have a cap to the glide here. And we are ready to head on off to the tower. Let's do flaps 5. Looks like a bit of rain. Got slow wipers there. And... 120.95 was pre. Now it's active. We'll check in with the tower. And I've got the field there. Los Angeles Tower, good evening. Skywest 4503 is ILS 25 left. And we got the field. Skywest Los Angeles Tower, good evening. Wind 2508 runway 25 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 25 left. 25 left, Skywest 4503. It's a late night shift, there's, they're 20 minutes from closing, so they've just got one guy working everything at the moment. That would be Hawthorne right there, I'm guessing, if not Compton. Alright, we got three down. Let's start slowing here. The flaps out. down towards VREF. I'm going to use about 130 so I got full flap. Uh, one thing I have not been doing is my pre-landing checklists. Minimums are around 300. Yeah, I was definitely looking for that spoiler switch and we nearly got too slow. That's why the nose was getting so high. We'll go ahead and disengage it here. say I've not gotten used to the view on this. Reverse actually worked there. Okay, first lighting checklist. Sky was 4503, President Hotel, then Mike, cross runway 25 right, thanks to your gateway, Bravo remains frequency. Hotel Mike, then Bravo with you, Sky 4503. Do have to do is disengage the 
reverses. Let's see, do the spoilers kick in? Hard to say. The reverses are in though, that's for sure. Those are back to normal. Okay, let's join Mike. Is it. it says Alpha Mike, but it's actually Mike. Okay, so crossing active runway here. We'll go with all the lights again and have a look. Guess the runway is getting kind of wet. of that runway. Get the straps off. Don't have any terminal scenery here for LA. Just park it right there, I think. Shut it down here. Alright, hope you enjoyed the flight.